Definitely had us. Okay, this and this would be pretty darn good on the play. We're gonna try it. Hmm. That was a good draw. Allows us to curve out much better. So we're gonna play Okiba Reckoner Raid. Run out of Riveteer's Requisitioner. Hope it doesn't get removed. Just so we can sack the top next, next turn after bashing. Pretty well. <laughs> I don't know how valuable the bash will be, but. This is why in the deck tech I talk about. Uh, um. Hmm. I'm a little bit tempted to just bash into the night air. That'd be really greedy, though. So we're going to do a thing we don't often do here, and minus both of them. We want to gum up the board. If they end up playing a uh, board, which is likely, it'll get worse. But if they happen to not have a lord, <clears throat> or uh, exile your dude human, turn around decently next turn. I feel like they've got to have a lot of options here. Yeah, so Lord number one. It's not the greatest Lord, because I don't think it affects this dude, so eat that guy. You can actually ping off the Copper Coat Vanguard if they bash. Unless they play yet another Copper Coat Vanguard, and that'll be tough. Double Copper Coat Vanguard is really hard because like all their creatures, except for the token. So we we probably just hope they do anything other than playing one ones or whatever is fine. That guy sucks. It's like hard to deal with, but they're gonna play another Knight Errant of Ghosts. This could just get out of hand for us. it with pretty hard. Oh, I love saying what evangelist. Hmm. We could, we could double block it uh, and then get rid of the copper code vanguard. Um, or we could single block it and ping off this dude. I really want to get rid of copper code vanguard. We could we could Gang up, block, um, kill the Knight Errant and the Copper Coat Vanguard, but that just leaves them with such a board compared to our nothing. So I think I'm just going to block here and ping off the little guy. Hmm. So upstairs we go. Drains aren't the worst. Is my entertainment. Probably just run out both of these. We can bash with Nazumi. I don't know how much we could race. 
don't have any... Gosh, they just have... They're gonna have so much stuff to gum up the board. I feel like a blocker is preferable. I don't think it gets the benefit of, of Copper Goat card. Higher. Sanguine Evangelist is pretty sick. Battle Cry is an effect I haven't seen in. But if you've been watching Jank Brews, the very first episode of Jank Brews plays two copies of Sanguine Evangelist in a Hoarding Broodlord deck. Go back to a week ago and check it out. It's on YouTube. I think that deck went like four and two. I didn't play seven games that day. Six, I think. It did pretty well, and it was fun. And janky. I have no idea how I pushed through here. Okay, they're going for me. What in the world is going on here? Four, five, six, seven. I think you just die, right? Three, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, ooh, I don't know if they're actually dead. They could, I'd be really close though, because I have another Obnixilis. Um, so I, I think I'm just gonna not block. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not even doing math here. I'm at ten. Uh. Yeah, just dome, dumping stuff. Okay, dome. Um, but I'm gonna get two more shots, so I'm like 99% sure we got him here. Cause uh, sanguine evangelist. Oh, like two of them too. Yeah. Yeah. Um and. We'll do this, 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 we'll dump here. You don't stand with me. You're my enemy. Uh, I think it's this one here. <laughs> it's hard for me to tell which is which, but uh, I think it's the one with, yeah, it had, it had a, like an active thing going on. We'll take it. Four and up. That was far and away the most difficult. And I still think our opponent misplayed. I, I don't know what I would have done if I were them. This is why Obnixilis is good. It's difficult to decide against. <laughs> 